Hey, it's Clay. Welcome to another video. This is going to be an exploration of tone, focusing on this. Uh, this is a Hammond AO29, which I converted into a Marshall Plexi style circuit. I'm kind of curious to see how the output transformer is affecting the tone and feel and kind of related to voltage and power within the amp. Um, with a conversion like this, it's going to be a little bit... It always seems like there's some hurdles they have to jump over or some, some obstacles to go through. And... Um, because basically I'm taking an amp that has some really good raw material, but I'm kind of repurposing it in such a way that it was not initially intended or designed for. And uh, one of the obstacles I ran into is that the voltage from the power transformer was a little bit hot. Now I suspect that this is somewhat related to the fact that the original AO29 ran like 11 tubes, and I currently only have three, six. So I cut the number of tubes in half, which probably significantly affects, affects the amount of current going on in the amp, which may have some indirect uh, effect on the voltage. Also, um, with the AO29s, I think some of them have like a field coil speaker, and there's some resistors in there, and it, some of that is, a lot of that is beyond my understanding, but the voltage I was experiencing was higher than what I kind of wanted with this kind of a circuit. Um, so I had a couple of options. Uh, I could first try and drop the voltage, now, you know, this, 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 the project I was working off was a 6v6 based plexi from Hoffman Amps. Um, so I could try to drop the voltage in the power supply to hopefully better match what a 6v6 would want to see. And then I guess the other thing to just be mindful of is that the, uh, the output transformer is in all likelihood designed to kind of work in that kind of a voltage, right? So the output transformer really was designed for 6v6s, I'm guessing probably putting out about 15 to 20-ish watts. So if my power transformer is kicking out higher voltage, and I run 6L6s, which would be more appropriate for that kind of a plate voltage, then my output transformer is likely getting saturated pretty heavily. Again, this output transformer was designed for 6v6s. Uh, I'm guessing that there's a little bit of an impedance mismatch going on as well as a, a power saturation. You know, when I turn the master up, you know, actually this amp does amazingly good cleans when I keep everything kind of low, but then as I turn the master up and the volume's up, it starts to distort, but it starts to do something kind of weird and harsh in there. My hypothesis is that um, a couple of different options. First, I could try to bring the voltage down to match 66s, keep the power output transformer as is, and, but that kind of seemed like it might take a lot of work. I've already got a dropping resistor there on the power transformer. So another option, um, I was just kind of perusing eBay and I found an output transformer. This is a pretty beefy, um, classic tone output transformer, I believe designed for a big 6L6, now something like a Hot Rod Deluxe. So if I got 6L6s, I got pretty high plate voltage. This should fit in there pretty well. Um, so, what I'm going to try is, I'm going to do a little before and after. I'm going to take some tone clips of the amp as is, and I'm going to see how it sounds, especially as I get the, ma you know, if I keep the input volumes kind of low, but especially as I get the master up high, I, I want to try to show off the saturation that I think I'm hearing that's going on in the output transformer. Then, I'm going to have to shift some of the stuff around, see if I can mount this bad boy on here. It's a big output transformer and um, see if that helps or how it changes the tone. I'm very curious to see what kind of results we get. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into those results and I hope you guys found this informative and helpful, thanks.
Craig, this is the first tone test uh, using the new output transformer. You can see that big black thing there. Just recently installed, got it fired up, making noise. Gonna take a quick tone test. One of my parts Telemaster uh, AKG C214 microphone. Uh, it's a 112 with a WGS G12C speaker.